All right, guys, it is a gray <coughs> but pleasant late November day here in uh, the former paradise of Garfield, Texas, here on Tuesday, November. I don't know where the hell we are. 25th, 26th, somewhere like that. So I have been spending my morning with the burn pile from hell. Wondering how many of my resonant insects I just burned up. So anyway, uh, speaking of resonant insects, I was uh, top documentary films recommended me. It's on YouTube. I believe I watched it on YouTube. This uh, documentary about the insect apocalypse. Now it was based in Germany and not in Texas. So, uh, this might not be quite as true for Texas, but it's certainly true for the northern U.S. And uh, So, what they were saying about if you really want to help insects, if you want to help prevent the insect apocalypse in your own yard, which is really all you can do, and I have to say, uh, I see, I don't see that much sign of an insect apocalypse in my yard in Garfield, Texas. But what they said is more important than planting wildflower gardens. Now they do recommend that, of course, but what a wildflower garden does, which is what I have just planted, it says it gives the, the insects that hatch in the spring, a nice boost of energy, but that's about uh, all it's good for. You know, if if the uh, if the insects do not make it through the winter, insects do freeze. If the insects don't make it through the winter, you will have no insects at your wildflower garden in the spring. So. What they say is more important than a wildflower garden is to leave stuff on the ground for the insects <coughs> to hide in for the winter. Now, of course, the problem with that, this is ugly as shit. I was going, <coughs> I left about 25% of my field. I was going to uh, burn all of this. I was going to rake this up and burn all of this shit uh, this week in late November like I usually do. But now after watching this, uh, I am going to let all of this shit sit here for the winter and then I will burn it in the spring once the little bugs have woken up and uh, headed out to the uh, to my wildflower garden which is right there. So, uh, anywho's, there right here is the best thing you can do to prevent an insect apocalypse. Well, obviously, don't use fucking pesticides. I've been out of here 14 years, so there has not been a single pesticide on my property for 14 years. I don't think th there's been any next door either at Larry's place. Now, of course, even though Larry's been in a nursing home for a year and two months and is never coming back, they still keep his field, you know, mowed uh, and looking pretty, even though I'm the only person really on the planet who enjoys Larry's beautiful pasture. Now, of course, this is his burn pile in the middle. I don't know when that. So what has happened here is all of the insects on Larry's field, what they have done, no doubt, is they have gravitated towards the burn pile. And my guess is that somebody's going to come in there. So my guess is there's probably a half a million insects. That burn pile is five times the size of my burn pile and has been there for three years. So I can only imagine the ecosystem. The one I just burned has been there for two weeks. 
uh, very loosely packed for two weeks. But my guess is that this is a major, major uh, insect overwintering spot. So all of these insects who can't do anything with this beautiful lawn are going to get torched. There's a, see, there's a whole flock of birds inside. It looks like this cedar waxing. Is that sure? There's a whole flock of birds living in the burn pile who are going to be bedded down in there all winter. But at least we have a hedgerow along the back. You know, they were talking about this whole concept of hedgerows how important it is between the fields you know between of course here's the great hedgerow I don't know what happened to the hedgerow uh, at least the back half of the hedgerow is still here uh, so you know they're talking about how important it is between the fields to leave a you know a strip of uh, overgrowth for the insects to uh, to you know to migrate to and spend the winter so that is the reason you want your hedgerow so uh, there is my beautiful field Hambone is doing his part to prevent the the uh, insect apocalypse so I could have my yard looking like this in about one day but uh, I'm doing it for the bugs. I do apologize for however many bugs I just burned up in my uh, in my own little brush pile. But uh, I need to wrap this up and uh, fire up my neighbor's gas sucking chainsaw. He was kind enough to, so I can get back on this cottonwood from hell to go saw up. See this whole section here fell out of the tree and uh, so I need to go spend some time on a gas sucking chainsaw. I'm not sure if that'll help the insects or not. And in a few months this will be the wildflower garden. Bye, guys.